Fly a fair nation. Fly a fair nation. Thank you for tuning into the Pointless Talks podcast. Um, we're going to start off talking about Buju because that's like, you know, the first thing I thought about and one of the things I was looking forward to speaking about when I heard that he was being released this year. Um, we Finally. have <laughs> Shadow and what's your name? Today. <laughs> JB and the film god. Okay, in the studio tonight. Uh, content. <laughs> oh, we're, we're boosting that. Okay, well, just a crossover, you know. Uh, no, it's all fly here. but um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I heard that Budge is coming out this year, December eighth, which is my little sister's birthday. Whoop, whoop. Um, at first I was coming in here to rant and rave about how he's supposed to be performing in Trinidad, and I was like, what kind of sellout and blah blah blah. I was ready. I was ready, but you know, I did my googles. Oh, definitely. Quiet during that. <laughs> I did my Googles and apparently that is not true. Y'all need to tell y'all people stop telling lies. <laughs> because seriously, I know a lot of Jamaicans were Can we pissed. give the um the viewers some backstory? Because I don't have no idea what y'all talking about right okay, now. Okay, so a couple of days ago it was announced aboard the Love and Harmony cruise, which every year I cry that I'm not on. Um The Barris Cruise. Yeah, but he wasn't on it this year. But he, um, somebody from BB, Bujibantan something, said that he, his first concert was going to be in Trinidad, April 22nd. She all dropped date and everything. I feel like she was one of the uproar. I don't know. She looked pretty serious. There's a video of her actually announcing it and everything. She's an idiot. <laughs> but she announced it, whatever. And, you know, of course, Twitter and everybody else was in the uproar. Like, how he going to Trinidad first? And Jamaica was going to burn everything that exactly. he owned. Exactly. Because my first thing when I thought about was, how you make a song about deportees and how, you know, people come out firing and a send back nothing and this, that, and the next and everything. And then the first place you go when you come out is not home. But it's not true. So... Calm your horses. Everybody cool down. They don't have any specific location or date for his first concert, so they're still working on it, actually. So, that you man know. is not going to be performing nowhere his first month. Leave that man no, alone. it's not his first month. They were saying it was in April. He's supposed to come out in December, yeah. so that's, you know, a couple months. Mm, let's see if he actually does it. Well, that's not happening. We don't know when anything is happening, so... You know, it's up in the air right now because his team is working on it. But, yeah, don't apparently that girl st- don't work for them. Don't get me started on his team. <laughs> <laughs> so leave that one alone. <laughs> yeah, I was, that that literally, I was hot for two seconds. Like, I was I was ready. I'm just glad he's going to be out this year. I hope they don't pull no foolery and try to keep him for, like, an extra 24 hours. I'm going to blow. Well, I mean, he's been locked up since, what, 2011? Is that what it was? It's been... Ten? It's it's 10 been some 11. years. Yeah. Some years. So I know some people more than others are looking forward to his release. I know yes, some people yes. aren't too fond of him because, you know, boom, bye, bye and all that fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, but some yeah, people, yeah, I know, like some people, I mean, the man make one song. Like, leave him alone. He got like a I mean, track he's not list. the only person that made songs like that. So yeah, but that is we... one of the biggest ones. You know, even still to this day, you go to parties and they still playing boom, bye, bye because yeah, people stupid. You know what? He's a yeah. Unlike some of these people out there. That too. But, you know. Can't kill him for that. It's a song. It's what he grew up and knew, so. Yeah. But he also. The song reflect the times. Yeah. It, yeah. That's all the song did. It reflect the times. Yeah, um, but I'm saying, though, like, a lot of people still, you know, arbor feelings towards that because to this day, you can go to a party, a reggae, a dance hall party or whatever, and DJ going to put on a lot of money when they're in the blah, 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 whatever, whatever, and, and put on. Petty. Yeah, or they want to do the stupid whole oh, Jamaica national anthem is, and and I'm just like that is not our national anthem, but <laughs> yeah, Some people praise like it is. Yeah, the yeah, Jamaican but. national anthem is uh, "Welcome to Jamrock." Okay, <laughs> or not? What is the Jamaican national anthem? Eternal Father, bless. No, okay, <laughs> the Jamaica <laughs> dancehall. The Jamaica dancehall. J. A M no. A- no. <laughs> stop it. No. Just stop it. <laughs> Welcome stop it. to Jamrock, like I said. Mm, okay. I feel like that has turned into the anthem, though. Like, honestly. Yeah, they love playing that. And then they play, what's the other song afterwards? They need to play that when you enter the airport. <laughs> uh, uh, out in the streets. That's yes, that's the next one they drop. Murder. And then they play the um, um the Spraga Benza Alicia Keys song. Oh, that was me. Oops. Um, yeah, you're talking about other people and they phone. That was me. Sorry. Uh, what's the Alicia Keys joint? Uh, don't, don't anyways, don't, continue. I don't even like I can't song. remember it. Damn. But that's the song. Yeah, that's the next one that they play a lot. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that song. Uh, 
What a song, dear. I don't like it. Mm. Okay. <laughs> You're entitled. That's it. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, Easter is upon us. It is, it is arriving. By the time this episode drops, this is recording the Wednesday before Easter Sunday. But I'm um, pranking everybody. On Easter? Yes. We mean best time. <sighs> That's messed up. Tell them the dollar in every single egg. That's messed and up. Put pennies in it. <laughs> I mean, you know, they might add up to a dollar. <laughs> Not even. No, I'm putting one penny in each. Um, a lot of people, you know, I've been seeing this horrible picture going around on twitter and things of this um caucasian hand and oh, a tough looking piece of bun and some <laughs> cheese and <laughs> the caption says something to the extent of why west indians like this so much and they feel they refuse to believe that we actually enjoy it you know why because he's getting butt at home <laughs> <laughs> <Ding-ding>. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot <laughs> Um, Jamaican Twitter was in uproar yesterday when I first saw it, and they they was roasting whoever posted that because it was a lot of suck your mama and crab back under your mama wall and Man, a whole. <laughs> if you don't know what it is and it don't taste right to you, keep it exactly. Because I mean, what do white people have to offer? But you know, um, unseasoned chicken. I wouldn't know. Yeah, My I question stands. I, I ew, why? I don't know. You, you eat I from? Had, no, I had no choice because I, I was at their house. You know, that's I'm on a diet. Was, I'm allergic. Young. Oh, you never know better. No, okay, sorry. I was like, what the hell is this? Sorry, dear. Sorry. Yeah, so but don't disrespect the bunny. She said, did absolutely nothing to you. If you don't like it, jump off a bridge. Go suck your mother under a bridge. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> the views of Shadow Tea does not. <laughs> Well, tell us how you really I'm feel. Just saying, like it's maybe thick, and the cheese is amazing. Just don't eat it. Give it to the next person. Mind your business. Don't pick up the bun again. See, my thing is, I'm not really big on cheese personally. I love the cheese. Like regular cheese, I don't. I'm not really fond of. But funny enough, I will eat that pasteurized tin cheese. Any day of the year, as long as you give me some bun, 10 seconds in the microwave, and, you know, you it's mean? life. <laughs> you say, like, that's, it's everything. But if it's not for you, it's not for you. Point blank period. I don't know don't what other. My bun. <laughs> I don't know what other Caribbean islands participate in the bun and cheese for Christmas. I'm for Christmas. I'm thinking about Christmas. Was it a man <laughs> in that picture? I don't, I think it was a woman. Okay. I think they had on red nail polish. Your bun. <laughs> <laughs> but I. I don't know what other islands participate in that for Easter, but I know as far as Jamaica goes, we, you know, make sure you have fish for Good Friday and then Easter bun and cheese for Easter. Like, it's it's ritual. It's something I grew up with. I mean, I read an article the other day about why we eat bun and cheese, but I was like, mm, that's nice. Granny told me to do it, so that's what I'm doing. And we're going <laughs> to eat it. <laughs> exactly. So And it tastes good. It does. But, you know, there's also the debate of what kind of bun do you like? That's true. There's a lot of them out there. Because so mm-hmm. you go into like, them. listen, in certain neighborhoods, like in Miramar, for example, if you go to the Walmart in Miramar, if you go to Bravo, Publix. Go to Walmart. Yes, Walmart. Listen, Walmart has a stand set up with bun and cheese. I'm just go they know what's up. They know what's up. They do. Yeah, Walmart respect us. Man. I that, but <laughs> I respect the not dollar. buying it from mm-hmm. Walmart. But no, they have the the JTB. They have the big one Easter bun. They have the bunny on there and everything. They have different just different ones. Make sure to buy a bun two days before Easter. <laughs> two days. No, mm. just right, start now. You should have been had your bun. I I'm late, but still, you <laughs> you start buying that from way ahead of time because when you go into the store, the it cheese. Done. Listen, it's not done. The little tin of cheese is done. You gotta buy the big block of cheese. But that's, that's the like, one you're supposed to buy. That's the one that yeah. they used to buy anyway. The big up, big up block. Uh, in the you talking about the 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 red label one? Yeah, but they have oh. the little tin too. I'm not feeding a whole family of fifty. I don't need that much right. cheese. I will sit there and eat the cheese. Oh, you forget uh, where you come from. Mm. No, I mean, no, I forget. I buy the liquor tin, the little mm. one, because like I said. Oh, you buy the American cheese? The no, no, one. hell no. <laughs> the slice one. I do not eat that nasty shit. You sleep. Mm mm. Hell no. You buy the slice one. All right. First of all, I don't even know what bun tastes like with American cheese. That sounds this disrespectful. Is disgusting. I tried it. Mm-mm. See, you it's wrong. Nasty. It's because you were born here. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, don't tell nobody that. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't know what to tell you. I always, every Run. year since I've lived on my own, before, I, when I lived at home, everything else, like, 
I buy the tin with the red label, the pasteurized cheese that can sit on the shelf for six years and don't go back tomorrow. (laughs) Yeah. And, but last year, I think I bought it last minute and I had to get the big tin of cheese because everybody buy out the little one. The little one's like $7 a can. The big one is like, 30 something dollars i was about to be like hey who want to no, have this comes. listen but some places you can go to like jamaican restaurants and stuff or like the bakeries and they sell Proud you the people. cheese slice the slices of the cheese in a little plastic bag slice. <laughs> i need the whole can or um, they sell you like a chunk of it like a good amount no, of I it i don't know why you cut it so <laughs> and it don't even be cut even no they don't your whole bunch of chunks falling out. no have a nice did you use? <laughs> fuck no but oh i pulled up the article where is the um oh look at that sorry i just got a message but okay so the story is Easter holiday in jamaica marked by enjoyment of cheese that's what i said history dates back to babylon's hot cross buns babylon hot cross. yeah so there's something to say with a history that dates back to ancient babylon's hot cross buns you know anything about babylon uh, please don't get him started i'm curious I'm curious. Can you just brief us? Well, Babylon is really the system within itself. I mean, that's that's how the rosters use it. Uh-huh. So anything w- was from the West or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's okay. saying in Babylonia. <laughs> yeah, I guess in the West. Yeah. <laughs> cross buns were offered to Ishtar, the pagan Ish- queen of heaven. Ishtar, I S H T A R. If I'm in- pronouncing that incorrectly, I apologize. The I pagan know. queen of heaven. So the cross bun was offered to them. Similar cakes were made by ancient Greeks to honor the moon. The tradition of baked goods is offering to deities were made. Oh, it's made away to England. Of course, England, where cross buns were made and consumed on Good Friday. Oh, with the cross on a sort of similar crucifixion, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Then the British captured Jamaica, of course. They brought the cross bun to Jamaica, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You know, so then we oh, mix it with molasses. I've never made bun and cheese. Well, the bun. Have you ever made? Do you know anybody? No, I'm just going to buy it. Yeah, I didn't know molasses was in there, but learn something new every day. In molasses Jamaica, is in it. So it's no, uh, not it here, so. <laughs> <laughs> I need to take molasses straight. Well, this no, they change it. Hold up, lie. It said uh, the cross bun is used with molasses in the mix instead of honey. So I guess we did that because it was honey originally, and yeah. we decided to be Jamaican mm-hmm. and put molasses in it. Yeah, okay, so Jamaica made the original English bun its own by using... Okay, I read wrong. I'm tired. I'm going through a lot. But yeah, we use molasses. Them start with honey. So Jamaicans did the molasses. Did they tell you how much molasses they use? Because, you know, you're telling people... People don't measure nothing. Real real cooks don't measure. Them bun are going to be black. But yeah, so... Yeah, whatever. So it come from England, and that's how it ended up here. The cheese just ended up coming with it because, you know... Cheese is good, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. But that's that. If you don't have a bun already, well, Too bad. by the time y'all listen to this, y'all should already have devoured quite a few. I got, I'll got. i have some cheese left over, so if anybody wants some. There's always cheese left over. 25 cents a slice. <laughs> How big is the slice? Don't worry about that. Okay, well, see? You just pay your Now we got stipulations. You get what you get. Now we got stipulations. Okay, so we, we're not talking about Babylon, right? <laughs> the only Babylon I know is police. Stop it. Well, there's that. Okay, so I have a bit of a problematic idea. This is your idea. show. I can't tell you what to talk about. What you want to talk about? I said if you want to talk about it, but we get in there. Oh, God. So, is this like <laughs> you not to talk anymore? <laughs> well, I think, it's, I think it's interesting. I think it's kind of funny, you know, drink. that Easter Sunday falls on April Fool's this year. April Fool's this year. I'm pranking everybody. And somebody's birthday that day? Easter, Ooh, get it. Easter falls on... Um, a different day every year. It does, but I'm saying this year it's on April, April Fool's, Fool's Day. Right, right, right. I get, I get where you're going with that, but I'm saying in a bigger spectrum of things. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes Easter. Sir. I feel like I feel like it's coming. It's it w- rising. Easter falls on a different day every year. Maybe it's a reason. I, I should Google it right now, but I was gonna ask if I you mean, knew the reason why. What is the reason for Easter? What's the point? Not Isn't that the day Jesus came back from the dead? So Jesus resurrected a different day every year? Listen, Continue. son. Listen. I don't know enough. Continue. Because I, I'm i not a, a, a eh. minister, a pe- preacher, pastor. Sips I'm just drink. saying common sense. The creator gave us a mind to think. And we're going to sit So back. I'm just saying, if there's not a logical reason of maybe the calendars or so- something, it's you know, something that, in the universe. Know? I mean, I don't know, but it's a different day. Christmas coincidentally falls on the same day. Every year, <laughs> I don't know nothing. 
shadow space right now? I don't know nothing. Coincidentally, <laughs> uh, uh, um, Valentine's Day, Thanksgiving, all of these Listen, profitable. Yeah, Jesus wanted I'm born, but <laughs> they're going to come back on different days. Go ahead. Continue. Like, What's the next next topic? Whatever, well, no. That's, whatever that's his a name good is question, though. Since Jay didn't yeah, I Jay. Don't know when the letter Google it. <laughs> Guys, He's do your Googles, okay? Don't believe everything no, you Google hear. No, Google will be lying um, to you too because Google well, wants not, you to believe some other shit. Not just Google, but you know. And Bing. <laughs> I don't even use Bing, but. Uh, <laughs> do your research. Get a book. Go to the library. If you don't have a library next to you, go to a web, Barnes and & Nobles. Um, OverdriveMedia.com. OverdriveMedia.com. <laughs> um, take your girlfriend or boyfriend or w- whatever to library a book date. Library card. Gave things me like that. I know what That's I'm a doing. nice book date. Um, but yeah. But I mean, I mean look up your nice history. Yeah, yes. I mean, book dates are good. You know? Oh, I'm finna you sit in the library and read together and look at books and stuff like that. It's cute. But no, I mean, that is a good topic because, I mean, Easter is approaching and it's one of those things. I didn't actually, I've never really thought about that because every year I'm always like, when is Easter again? And On the Sunday. same thing, like, like Mother's Day and Father's Day. It's a different day. Every year it's like the third whatever of the month or whatever it is father's day and mother's day doesn't matter as far as as far as i get what you're saying who came up with those days hey ro as 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 far as what i mean like father's day and mother's day is not the same it's like you're saying jesus died and that's the reason why we're celebrating Mm -hmm. i didn't say anything yeah because it's good friday good friday is when he died according to the book how's it good and then you know he was resurrected, or so I, should, I shouldn't say that. I'm lying. Legendary. That is not what happened. They found his How tomb. You know have you was there? According to the book that they, he didn't even write. According to the book that man wrote, <laughs> when they went to the tomb, I don't know why they went there. They saw that the stone was rolled away. I think somebody went and told him that you know whatever whatever happened, and the stone Maybe was rolled it. away, and they went in there, and the cloth was still there with everything, and. He wasn't there anymore. Mm. Peter or Paul, one of them, find him down the road somewhere, and he was Peter and somewhere Paul else. Was there for a whole different <laughs> well, regardless of the fact, but that's that's the story as I've heard for God, you know how long, and that's the story they're gonna teach them on Sunday. It's probably the story y'all heard yesterday. If you listen to this Monday when it comes out, you know something? so well, I've never really read the Bible. You should mm. for educational purposes, just for just okay. to know because I. Me, myself, I've, I mean, I grew up in church because my grandmother was like, you going to church every Sunday. My oh, father man. wasn't opposed to it. And then when I came here, my mom took us to church. And then we came to Florida. We couldn't find a good church, so it kind of just stopped. Okay. I like hype hype churches. Like, I need oh, excitement. Need the, the- like how Jace was here the other day. She was talking about, he was talking about how he wants, like, you know, the hype up and everybody clapping and all that oh, good you feel stuff. So yes, you feel like, you know, it's there. But we came here, all the churches we went to, it was a lot of... It was it was boring. <laughs> majority <laughs> majority of the people that go to church now, and if they keep it real with themselves right now, if you're listening, you haven't even got to half of the Bible, mm-hmm. or not even close to it. I just want right? to know. You probably skip from from chapter to chapter, book to book, mm-hmm. but you haven't read all the of the Bible, Bible. Entirely. Yeah, in entirety. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. If you were born a Christian, if you were born in a Christian family, that's what you're gonna uh, be a part of. Mm-hmm. If you was born in um, a, a Buddhist family, <laughs> that's, that's what you're you gonna know. be a part of. That's all you know until. And, and, but I mean, a, a Christian rebuttal to that is um, God won't reveal Himself until everyone knows knows of Him, meaning of Him being mm-hmm. a Christian or whatever the case may be. So. Um, so you're telling me that all of these other religions is wrong, but Christianity is right. And vice versa with all the other religions, mm-hmm. too. I was yeah. going to say, because you don't know what those other religions are teaching you in regards to Christianity or Catholicism or anything else. But I feel like the basis for all of them is generally the same. Do it good. It is the same. Thing. But, and that's a crazy thing to it's me because, quote unquote, there's the whole, you know, worshiping false gods and put no other god before me and all these other things and i'm like so you're saying that unless you're a christian as a christian believing in christianity and the story of jesus and everything else you believe that everybody that's not christian is going to hell because right. they don't believe that's in your point. god that's my point that's i feel like that's and not crazy. just not just christians there's all the other religions 
<laughs> all of them sit, share the same ideas, the mm-hmm. same ideologies. So, well so it's not just Christian. That's my point. Even the scientists, even the Scientologists, all of them mm-hmm. people, they all need to come together, come in a, in a room and share information because not yeah. one person is right. No, The only thing we are right about is there is a creator, mm-hmm. right? But that's it. It's, no one can tell me that there's not a creator. Our body, our brains, everything. The world is too complex. The ocean has a whole world that we haven't even came close mm-hmm. to exploring. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, of course there's a creator. But uh, uh, one is not right than another. That's all so I'm So you saying. don't believe that they made everybody from clay? What? What you mean? Who that made God. everybody from clay? God, you know it said, you know, from the dirt. Everybody Stop was, they me. made Adam and Eve and the, the I'm gonna go ducks and well, chicken. Well, and the <laughs> ducks and... I don't. I never read, so I don't know. What I don't mean. know about the creation of how he went about. If we're gonna be serious about it, I don't know how he did it. He, she, it, whatever the case may be. It, I don't know. I don't know how the creator did it, mm-hmm. but it happened. Do you believe that yeah. there is more than one creator? Oh, I think so. I think there can be. Yeah. So it might be a male and female. Well, it don't have to necessarily be a male or female. That's names that was given to us for us to say. We don't know what the, the being. Separation. The being is. We don't know. It can have both. It can be a hermaphrodite for all we know. Like, <laughs> seriously. Right. Sorry if I said it wrong. I, I, you <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm just saying, we don't know. So I, I don't know if it's a he, she, whatever the case may be, but there is a creator and it's probably multiple creators. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, what about the idea that Jesus is black? Yeah. Or that black people were first. I shouldn't say Jesus because there are theories on the name, but that the that first person. the first man that walked the earth was black. I mean, the way they describe them in the Bible seems like a black person. Yes, you know, hair of wool, skin of copper. I never seen a white person like that unless they make. And then there are things that you know they said. I forgot who it was that they punished, and they said they turned him to. Turn, Oh, I forgot what the exact term was, but there's a scripture that says something to the extent of as punishment, his skin was turned white or something of the sort. And some people say that it's albinism. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they were saying something to the extent of albinism, like saying they turned albino or or white. So white. do you guys believe that, you know, the first people that walked the earth were black? If that, if that's, well, once again, the book was written by man, so we really don't know. But if that's how you describe people of those days, then yes. Okay. Um, I don't. I can't go. You see, but the thing is, we're so programmed mm-hmm. to think. Okay, well, the Bible said mm-hmm. that's the description, mm-hmm. so that's what I'm going. No, we don't know at all. So let's come in a room, sit down, and try to figure it out this from their from their research. Well, I mean, it, it might get intense, but hopefully cooler heads will prevail but let's do the research and put it on the table and we go from there so what research would we actually well be looking from for? from what quote unquote who are, whoever that they are mm-hmm. um the first body or vessel whatever they found was black mm-hmm. right so that's where that came from. The first man that was on the earth mm-hmm. was black. Mm-hmm. The Jesus thing that comes from the Bible with Jesus the thing. with the hair of wool or whatever the case mm-hmm. may be, and the skin bronze, and mm-hmm. that's the description of a you know a, a, a black person, colored person, a colored person. It's only colored people is white people, okay? Right, but the, 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 like that's what I'm saying. We're so programmed to say, oh well, the Bible says this, mm-hmm. but at the end of the day, the Indian religion. Um, existed way before mm-hmm. was practiced practiced way before Christianity, mm-hmm. right? But if you See? if you go back and do your research mm-hmm. with their gods, a lot of the stuff that Jesus did, their God did, turn water into wine, mm-hmm. walked on w- walk on water, mm-hmm. et cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying? So uh, perform miracles, and this mm-hmm. was all before, oh, right? And and not just to give credit just to the Indian religion, um, um, the the Egyptians. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, I heard that too. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 Egyptians they took a lot from the Egyptians as well. I was so. going to touch on that also. From each other, they've whitewashed that also as far as Egyptian culture and oh, the geez. kings and queens and things of that nature from that era because you look at like the artifacts that they find like you know all the what is it called? Did they just find ne- Nefertiti, and uh, they made her white. I wonder. Britney yeah, sees. because they look at the um the features of like the original. I can't remember the word for it. When you know when they dig up the people down, what they mm-hmm. call it, the that stuff, the remains. But 
Yeah, but I can't remember the exact name for it. But when they look at the features, they're, you know, the nose is broad and, like, the cheekbones and features of, you know, things that would point to people that are black. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And you look at the same thing with these movies. Like, they whitewash the hell out of these, like, characters that everybody knows is black. That's why I respect Michael Jackson when he did that video. <laughs> everybody... Mm-hmm. Was it Eddie Murphy was in it? Mm-hmm. And then I don't know. Naomi Campbell. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, <laughs> but Caucasian Michael Jackson is black. Yes. yes. So, I mean, there's that. But I mean, I see a lot of things though where there's a lot of whitewashing going on. And I'm trying to figure out where that stems from. I mean, of course, you know, there's the whole brainwash of quote unquote white is better or light looks better or whatever the case is. But not to cut you off. Uh, what brand was that that came out with um, Heineken? Well, Heineken. Yeah, come Sorry to cut you off. Lighter is better. Lighter is better ad. Oh wow. It's a uh, um can you find it please? I don't watch TV. Um <laughs> uh I didn't watch what TV happened TV. was in the commercial mm-hmm. it, it, it obviously is is for light beer, so mm-hmm. lighter is better. And what happened the the beer is passing through shades oh, wow. of of people pretty much Are you serious? to get to the dark person. Yeah, to the light person. Yeah. Uh, and they like we and they apologized, yeah. No, but you knew what you was doing when you wow. first did it. You can't right. tell me not one person right. in there thought that wasn't racist. Chance, Chance actually addressed it, and he was like, "Yo, I feel like these companies, which we I've been felt like that, is putting out those um, racial <laughs> ads on and purpose. They pulled, the commercial. they pulled it, yeah, on purpose. They doing it on purpose. That's crazy, son. All the people are still drink it. Is this it? Oh Listen, you're gosh. on air. You have to talk. So sorry, <laughs> I'm watching, and it, it is exactly what you're saying. They, it, they, th- the bartender throws the beer, and it literally passes these different shades of people. And then when it gets to the the end, it's, it's to white, a white a men. white person. And a white it says Asian sometimes lady. lighter is better. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, see, I'm I don't watch TV, now. and I be hiding from the internet until, unless I'm looking for stuff for this show. But wow. Mad disrespectful. <laughs> but no, I believe I what you're saying, though. Kid, but, <laughs> mad but what you're saying is right. I do feel like a lot of these companies, they do these knowingly I racist like and knowingly of offensive things for clickbait. A lot of it is clickbait because at the end of the day, they can pull it and say, we sorry, you know, they put out a... Yeah, but everybody's going to click on it and watch Exactly. It. A press release that says, you know, we apologize and it was no, done damn, unknowingly. No, fuck you. And all these other things was unintentionally done. Who was in the room? That's what I'm saying. Everybody. That's what I'm saying because there's no way, like, I, I refuse to believe that there's no, nobody with any inkling of sense not a black person exactly because okay as a creative i know what it takes to put something out Mm -hmm. and i'm not even on the scale of heineken and h&m and all these other things i mean one day i'm gonna get there and beyond but (laughs) you know what i'm saying like all of them but these ads that they're putting out first of all someone has to come up with the idea Mm -hmm. right then you show it to someone else right then they have these board meetings or they have these little creative meeting sessions And they show and say, oh my gosh, okay, this is great. They add this, they take this away, they do this, this, and the next. Right? Mm -hmm. And then someone puts it on the drawing board and said, this is the image we're going to do. you got one Oreo in the room. Listen, someone said, we're going to have a black person in this video and it's going to pass them. And it's going to pass these lighter shades. It's going to pass these lighter shades and it's going to end on a white person or somebody of Caucasian visibility. You know what I'm saying? Somebody planned this whole video. Mm -hmm. They pitched it to somebody. And and then somebody people in this video. Somebody approved this. A white man. Okay. The black people or the seemingly black people in this video or in all these other productions have to feel that something is wrong. They, first of all... Well, oh, well no, go ahead. Go ahead. Finish your thought. For them, I mean, they don't see it until after. But that's mm-hmm. one. that's one idea. But also, mm-hmm. when you audition for something... Even as an extra, you have an idea of what you're auditioning for. You you have an idea of the role that you're playing and what you're going to be a part of. And you also have the opportunity to uh, be... Sometimes. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes. Sometimes. sometimes not because they change for, it not to go minute. off mm. Not to go off topic, but um, the, the video that just came out with 2 Chains YG... Mm-hmm. And and uh, offset right. I ain't no hope. My mama ain't no hope. <laughs> look at look at look at the mama extras. No look mm-hmm. at the extras holding up the sign. Mm-hmm. 
They probably didn't know that it's a video with YG and his mama all blooded out. They probably didn't mm-hmm. want to be represented in that way. My kids is in there. Well, you if you look at it that way, if you look at it yeah. that way, that could, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. my kid uh-huh. affiliated with some gangbanging stuff. Well, Even pretty, though I love the video. I love it's everything probably about family it. When it comes members. to YG, I think somebody would know that. Yeah. No, no, no. But what I'm saying is, when you're shooting that video, mm-hmm. they call for extras. And you, they and do. but those extras look like they just got them out of the grocery store, mm-hmm. off the side of the street. So mm-hmm. you're signing that waiver, not seeing the the production beforehand. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. So that's how you can get caught up. Like extras can True. get caught up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? And but, but even outside of that, because the extras don't have any say so in the creative portion of it at all. So. I'm still back at the the drawing board, the 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 committee that comes up with this idea and approves this idea and puts this idea out. Not one person of color is in any of these phases. I'm pretty sure they are. And but it, that's they what voice I, that's their opinion, and you know what they do? Oh, that's a good idea. We're gonna get clicks out of that. <laughs> that well, that's well, my thing. Some of them do that just to, so they don't get fired, mm-hmm. or some of them voice their opinion and everybody looks at them like shut the fuck up and keep it moving. No matter what that one person says, is not gonna matter in a room full of white people i feel that but at the same time i also feel like if it's not that kind of situation they're doing that purposely so that they can get the views because i didn't know this happened y'all brought this to my attention because of a negative mm-hmm. news you get what i'm saying so in anything public or you know relation to entertainment or anything of the sort advertising even if it's bad publicity it's still publicity it's still bringing attention to it yeah but what what i realized is that people do that and they do damage control and blah 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 all mm-hmm. the extra stuff Yes, you get a lot of clicks, but you also lose customers. Like H and M, really? H and M had to close what? How many stores in Africa? Like in Africa? I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, you how have many? To close your store. What were their sales like after that in America, though? Because they had like it a, did drop a little bit. They little had bit. like a huge sale after that whole of thing. Of course, happened. what you mean? Black people love sales exactly because at the end of the day guess what niggas is still going by that shit yeah, there's a I few people who shit, actually man. are true to their culture and are true to all this and they're just like you know i won't take no they disrespect exactly oh, yeah, and but, but generational l- ignorance on a hand of five how many of these people are actually going to stand in that they're gonna be like, well fuck that shit that shit still look cute or or said that wasn't me was exactly and or yeah. there's a concept of you know well there was racist before they or if the mom's okay with it i'm okay with it all of that because that mom we talked about well she that, only won't mom. care she ain't worried about you that check boy that but was thick though bitch you can't try me like that so. i mean she's from somewhere else and she feels like it wasn't okay i mean it was an okay idiot. but she's money uh, hungry in my opinion i'm just gonna talk shit yeah i mean that's one way to look at it <laughs> that's one way to look at it but i mean all that just to say that like at the end of the day i feel like there's a lot of selling out going on with that because I refuse to believe that there's no black people in these rooms. I refuse. I absolutely I know First of all, a couple of them bitches. black people are winning. We are everywhere. We are doing a lot of things as far as creativity goes and, you know, executive positions and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. We are making strides and we're we're weaseling our ways into these um companies and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. So you can't tell me that there's literally not one black person. That's what I said. Even if there's one, that one person is going to be outnumbered. Now, if you had like... Half, half and half, mm-hmm. then that shit ain't happening. Or then Heineken is what, German? Is I'm that where Heineken, Heineken is from? I just know a whole bunch of Jamaicans drink that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not drinking that shit. Drink Red Stripe, okay? No, but- <laughs> do not drink that shit. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> what is wrong with you? It makes no difference what you drink. I mean, um, unless you're trying to support you know, your own. All of these companies probably done something racist or something, exactly. some they don't kind care. of they undertone. Still make their money and on even the and and to just pointless when she's like, um, you know, the black people in the room, they don't really have much say because, mm-hmm. it, okay, say the person that was involved with the H and M ad, right? S- say you're the photographer that took that picture, and mm-hmm. you clearly see that's that's it's a problem. You have two options. Not no, no, you have three. Mm-hmm. You have three options. Walk out, not do it. Take the photo, be silent. Or not take the photo, come out and tell the world about it. Yo, this is racist mm-hmm. before it drops. But they probably had him sign something. Mm-hmm. Or um, if the person come out and speak on it, now you're blackballed. Now you're not getting no more work. Mm-hmm. 
You get what I'm saying? So now yeah. you, you can't feed your kids. You can't feed your family. You can't. Wanna work with nobody you. wants yep. to work with you. You're so violating now, NDAs and all yeah, these other Yeah, any things. of those big companies, none of those big companies is not going to want to work with you. The H&Ms, the Marshalls, wh- whatever the case may be, mm-hmm. they're not going to want to work with you anymore because you outed you know, a company or, or yeah, you, you violated. released information before it was supposed to be released and all these things. Yeah. They feel like Even you're not though you felt the way you felt. Uh-huh. You know because I mean? at the end of the day, look at, they look at it from a standpoint of a contract. You sign a contract that said you have confidentiality within me as an employee, employer, whatever, whatever. Well, well, I, think- well I don't even think just that. I, yeah. But if it, quote unquote, if a Caucasian person necessarily breach contract, mm-hmm. it won't be as harsh they won't be affected as harsh as the black person would one because they don't care about black lives. Oh, uh, one. It, I know because all lives matter. <laughs> Girl. One, the, the, like I said, the the white person is probably easier for them to go find a job mm-hmm. than the black person would because white. it's not as much black person in power. That mm-hmm. is true. That is true. To 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 employ us. Wait, did you see the Groupon thing? No, what Groupon thing? Groupon? So Groupon is also involved into another. Talking to the mic, please. Um, slur. If they were selling like a pair of boots and the co- description was nigger brown. Excuse me? Nigger brown. I'm Googling this. <laughs> nigger um, brown. Nigger brown. What's the company you said? Groupon. Groupon. I love Groupon. I feel like I heard this before. I feel Groupon. like somebody else. Wait, isn't it. Tiffany Haddish? Yes, promo- she hasn't said anything yet. Hold on a second. I am Googling. Nick. Oh, N word at. <laughs> And they yep. apologized for it and said... There's not a picture of this? It's oh, wow. Groupon bre- apologizes for nigger brown boots. Oh, okay. So now when that... Somebody was trying to be funny. How yeah. old was that? This, recent. 21 minutes ago, That's Black recent. America Web updated today this. Yesterday. Yeah, this is all... So, so back to what Chance was saying... These Ten companies is probably putting this out on purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Strategic yeah. marketing. They're it's putting this attention. out. On, yes, yeah. it's bringing attention to them. That's why they always say all all, all publicity is good publicity, uh-huh. bad publicity mm-hmm. is good publicity. Strategic marketing. These companies is doing this on purpose. Period. That is. But you know, there's crazy. like a regular person uploading those things and blah blah blah. Whatever the case may be, I just think like if it was a white person that did that. Actually, uh-huh. that's a nice angle. What you just said, wait. Um, that so, regular people so on upload gr- it. Groupon. Yeah, because they're like reg- regular. Yeah. If you have an account. Like, oh, no, I'm not saying like um any old person. Any but if you have person, like a if business you work for or the something, company, Groupon, yeah. You know, you have the customer service agent, blah blah, etc. They're the one actually uploading the um. The yes, data itself, entry, basically. Yeah, like what so we do. So that with, person that did it. it, I don't know if he was pissed mm-hmm. off about something or whatever the case may be, or your boss said, "Go ahead and do it." That's well, what I'm saying. Someone did that on purpose. America, That's I don't know, but somebody was trying to be funny. Somebody yeah. was upset. Uh, well, a company like can't be t- uh, at too much fault though. If that's if it's a system like that, right? If it's a system where I your mean, employees yeah. can log in, upload something, and put okay. whatever I title mean, they yeah, want. Yeah, but you still have to. It also has to be approved before anything is said. Think about it like that this: it goes through that type of process, like eBay, right? eBay is a company that you sell things on, whatever. Mm-hmm. Anybody can upload to eBay, right? Same thing for Amazon. Don't they have like the um, filter though? Yeah, they have filters. But okay, Shop Goodwill, mm-hmm. how we work. You can go on Shop Goodwill and anybody that works for Shop Goodwill and has an account that can log in can upload anything they want online mm-hmm. for sale. They can call it whatever they want as long as it's not, you know, a certain brand name or whatever. You just have to verify that it's accurate. And I think they probably even have filters also because of the type of company it is Mm -hmm. that won't let you put in racial slurs or Mm -hmm. we can't put Cuba or certain things in the titles or in the listing and stuff like that. So Groupon probably has like a wider range of what you can put online because they sell everything Mm -hmm. from knockoffs to whatever. So you can put, you know, whatever on there. So I literally, I, there should still be a filter because you can filter out cuss words. Why can't you? Fit? Yeah, nigger is technically a cuss yeah. word. Yeah, it's a slur. So, so I mean, you can't tell me. That that's you don't crazy. Have so I mean, everybody's expecting Tiffany Haddish to come out because now she's a spokesperson. I mean, she oh. run around talking about who bit. What's her name? We're not even gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I'm not surprised because then you, there's videos of kids what a lacrosse team chanting. The new Freaky Friday song by Chris Brown, Lil Dicky. They sing that part. Oh, nigga, that nigga, song. Nigga. That whole. I mean, that's a bus full of white kids. That always happens, though. That's that, that's, that's 
but it's more. F- I don't know. If, I wouldn't say more frequent nowadays, but it's just out. It's in the being. Open. Yeah, I was about to say it's being shed. Light is being no, shed on it more probably. No. But being it's like happened. That. That's what I'm saying. It's I know, happening. But the fact that now we have the internet. visibility. The like visibility. The, the social media plays no game. Actually, I think they're trying to suppress it more. You, there's I no think how. back in the day, like you had soap companies that would do, like literally put racial things in their commercials. You have cartoons that had racial. Oh, when they push you in a washing machine, like, you boy. <laughs> oh, like Dove with that, um, what is that? Oh, Cleaner. Yeah, I saw that. Like, I'm saying, like, if <laughs> you go back to the 60s and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, they've been doing these stuff. But now I think they suppress it more because the outcry on black Twitter, mm. if we if we own something, we own it. So if it's Dove today, it's going to be Dove <laughs> today. It was Shea Moisture after that. Okay. Oh, yeah. I remember the whole Shade, uh, shade Butter or Shade whatever that thing <laughs> shade was. Shade Butter. Uh, it I, wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that situation. Yeah, and, I didn't and, buy nothing. Yeah, it's, <laughs> black Twitter. It's three things of you don't work. mess with is the black women on Twitter. Yeah, Beyonce. Do it. Beehive. <laughs> Beehive will come for that ass. LGBT community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Body bag on black Twitter, okay? Yeah. And it's not that's not even black Twitter though, as far as the LGBT thing, because the whole community on all sides is coming for you. Like, it don't even matter. Shit. Like when I say you don't see people come together until like something bad happens and Which it's I don't horrible. Like- because if it's not a celebration, it's something bad. And then people come together. Because as soon as, what was it? Mm-hmm. Were you were telling me the other day about y'all president still trying to do the gay ban and all this stuff? I mean, the was it the trans transgender ban? ban? And then yeah. the judge said, the fuck is you doing? Yeah, but I mean, he tweeted about that from months ago. He's you know? a fucking celebrity. I don't know if any, well, I'm pretty sure everyone heard about this. But a few months ago, y'all president decided he wanted to tweet something about banning transgenders from the being. The president. The Y'all or- president the from man. being, um, you know, transgender people from being in the military. And, I mean, unless you're looking at people's genitals, if they identify as something and they have their gender I'm changed, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They, if they, do, they do do that because they oh, just nasty Jesus. ass motherfuckers. But I'm saying, as far as, like, documentation goes, they have all the documentation, that whatever. That they are... The gender that they... Exactly. Then, you know, whatever. But apparently the ban, I was reading up on it the other day when I saw it. And what was it? If they... If they already had surgery, then they can participate in being in the military. If they're about to undergo surgery, then... Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like that is kind of like a cop-out trying to say that we don't want to pay for this transition. That's how I looked at it, me personally. Because all the stipulations are basically saying... If you're thinking about transitioning or if you haven't fully transitioned yet, you then the you military. can't join. It's you can't join. Me. You have to wait until you go through your procedures. You already have your medication already started. You're already doing testosterone or hormone pills or whatever the case is. You already got your surgery, top, bottom, whichever. And you know what I'm saying? Basically, like, you're not coming to the military to get money to pay for this, basically. That's how okay. I personally looked at so it. So what I have to say about this, and this is going to be the end of that <laughs> tell Donald Trump to worry about Who? Stormy. His little affair, stripper bitch, and the other one that's in here whacking him on the ass with magazines. Okay? Don't nobody give a fuck about the orange man, because I don't. Listen, there are so many problematic things about that person, and I just... He's just trying to take the distraction off himself, because he was out here getting his ass whooped with a magazine! Well, there were stories previously about and him being into, like, BDSM-type shit. And Why ain't nobody and... strangle him yet? Uh... Maybe they didn't pay him enough, or he didn't pay them enough, whichever the case is. Strangle who? I don't Y'all know what president. The president of the United States? Y'all's president. He better stop for his wife do it. Shit. I don't think she wants to touch him. That man is well protected. That man is orange. <laughs> to, 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 to address pointless when she's saying, y'all president. I, th- I I used to say that, but then I had a thought the other day. Well, what was this thought that um, you got to say the president? <laughs> he is the president. He's the president of the United States. Barack Obama. Charlemagne can say <laughs> ch- uh, uh, celebrity and chief mm-hmm. all he want, but he is no. Y'all voted for that man. That y'all voted for or him or didn't he, vote for him. He is in office. or didn't vote at all. I, I voted for right. the woman that is no. What? But but, but no. But no. I hate when people say that. People saying, "Oh, y'all didn't vote," or "Who didn't vote from who voted?" Well, the, yeah, they, yeah, Hillary right. won. 
the popular vote. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the college. Uh-huh. So it's nothing we could have did. Yeah. Nothing. It's out of our hands at that point. You, you get what I'm saying? Oh, so I'm he is the president of the United States. And unless we're going to move, How is we're he just going to. Like, because I'm still, I America, feel like, you know what? he is the reflection of America and America yeah. is a reflection he, of him. To me, right now they're using him as a guinea pig. Because, mind you, all the commotion that's going on mm-hmm. with the, the fake people that's out here talking about they from Stoneman, Stoneman Douglas and doing all mm-hmm. this fucking protests and bullshit. Mm-hmm. If he is removed, I mean, right now what you're seeing is white on white war. There's another civil war that's about to happen. In my personal opinion. I feel like he is giving power and acknowledgement well, to all the racist really people. Well, no, he's making it so that it's a little bit more accepted that... You're racist. That for people to be openly racist and for people to be openly hateful and exactly. homophobic mm-hmm. and exactly. all these other bigot ass mind states that people mm-hmm. have, he's making it seemingly okay because he's saying all these ignorant things about when Mexicans or rapists and they don't work. Nigga, first office. of all, y'all ever been to Home Depot on a bright early morning any day of the week? Them niggas is outside waiting to work. Which Mexicans are you talking and then about? You had the nerve to talk about the Mexicans being doing the wall. Exactly. And my thing is all the redneck sister loving cousin kissing people that <laughs> hate black people and all he's making them feel like it is okay for these hatred and, and all get these your negative ass thoughts. Motherfucking beat. Well, not every black person is as, you know, assertive and <laughs> I'm just saying even um, in a crowd. Yeah. In a crowd you have but even too. still though, but at the end of the day when the police come, what happens? Oh, you die. Exactly. So regardless of the fact, even those police officers that are racist or whatever the case is, because I don't believe all police officers are bad, but there are some that, you know, they, were taught a certain they thing. all yeah. are not bad. But if you're protecting the ones that are bad, then what does that make you just bad. as bad? Right. But at the same time, yeah. I feel like <laughs> some of them are, you know, the kids that got picked on in school or the kids that didn't have any friends. And speaking of school, because I know you hate that guy. So let's get off of him. Okay. Speaking of school, <laughs> I get passionate. Um, <laughs> The Parkland shooting, mm-hmm. right? The 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 marching and and Not all of that. Mm-hmm. Don't even, having those people don't even go to that fucking. Right. It, it, well, it doesn't matter. They're showing their support. Yeah. Right. But it's a big rally. No. What I what I was saying is that the people that are speaking. Right. Oh, representing don't representing the fact that they went to the school. Like one of the guys said, he went to Stoneman Douglas. Nigga, you lived in California. Like you never oh, wow. went to Stoneman Douglas. Wow. So that's why they call him a crisis actor. Ah. Because he was the main one in the video, actually recording everything. Saying oh, everybody he's doing wants this to shine. And he's doing that you were like, there's one kid that was at um, I don't remember the Broward Town Hall, whatever. Red hair, white, pale as fuck. I don't know where in Broward County you were from because you were never here. Nobody <laughs> knows who the fuck you are. But what I was gonna say is, um, and I, I I like that point. But what I was gonna say is, they did all that big marching and all of that that went down, right? But this young lady. I'm going to play a clip from her real quick. Um, Her name is Tiffany. Um, I guess she's a teacher. Hold on. Let me know what y'all think about this uh, after I play this clip. Hold on. Oh, put on your your headphones. (laughs) Um, Oh, you ain't got no headphones, so you can't hear it. So should I play it out loud and just put it on the next to the mic? Sure. It'll sound better. I mean, I heard it. You heard it. Oh, so we don't. (laughs) Fine. It's okay. It's okay. Hold on. So I'm going to put it next to the... On March 24, 2018, we're here for three important reasons. Number one, what they will not do is ignore black voices. Number two, what they will make sure to do is include our agenda in the agenda for gun prevention reform. When we talk about legislative issues and solutions for gun violence, it has to include the intersections of black violence. That means guns, that means gangs, that means schools, that means teachers, that means police brutality, that means state violence. It has to include all of that stuff, and we're going to be able to do this together. This is not just about white people in school shootings in the classroom. They kill us in churches. They kill us on the streets. They kill us in in the car. They kill us when we're traveling, and they kill us in our classroom. This is about all the young black people that you're looking at right here. That's what this is about. It's not about none of this extra stuff with the concert. That's great. We're here to organize, represent, and show power. And the third thing that we're here to do is make sure we have a great time. We came from all across the entire country to be here for a specific moment because I want my people to feel empowered. And I want them to go back to the field and to know that when they get back to the local organizing, that's where it matters. Deep. Okay, <laughs> so that that was deep. I play that. Oh, sorry, I play that because seriously, we didn't do this when um, that white kid shot up the school. Mm-hmm. We didn't do this. I mean, we did it for for Mike Brown, but it was a mm-hmm. fight mm-hmm. for us to protest and all of that. Mm-hmm. 
you know, but look at all this organizing going on, these mm-hmm. concerts going on mm-hmm. for these kids that got shot up in a school. And this is close to home. Yeah. This is right down the street Literally. for us. So we should, you know, address that. And I, she has a great point. Like we need to do, we need to do and act the same way when an innocent black kid gets shot on the street. Exactly. Well, organized by the government. Wasn't um Killer Mike saying something about that today on the Breakfast Club? Well, I didn't see that. Um, was it him or yesterday or something of the sort? He was saying something um with the NRA. He did an interview or something, or he was speaking at the NRA. Um, and he said something to the extent of you know if his kids decide to do a walkout, they can walk out of his house too. But he had to come back and retract and it retract, because yeah. yeah, they basically misquoted him and said that you know whatever. But his whole thing is. The same thing that she was saying. This organizing thing didn't happen for the, you know, Trayvon Martins and all these things. Like, they had these organizations, but, I mean, these uh, marches and everything, but it wasn't as organized. It wasn't as peaceful. It wasn't, you know what I'm saying? It was a fight. Exactly. We got to fight. The the, the marshals came out, like... Like, spraying people like it was back in the 50s. They was threatening martial law against us. Out here with pellets and everything. Like, it was... It's... That's not fair. And, I mean, it's life. Life isn't fair. But at the same time, it's like... It's not life. It's we... <laughs> but, honestly, though, black people are dealt a much shorter stick in life than everyone else, especially in this country. I mean, it's like this everywhere, but especially in this country. And I hate to say it, 